What's going on everyone? So we have an update for the 2020 Ram 2500. Uh, as you can see, it's stock. Uh, I've done nothing to it, not even tint just yet. So um, the plan is, I have the lift coming in tomorrow actually, but this is what came in today. All right, so as you can see, I just like unwrapped everything, but um, I actually haven't seen the wheels just yet. Obviously I can see the tires, but um, so for comparison, that's just how wide they are. And then my, it can probably fit three of my hands side by side. So um, I bought these from Rims One. Um, I heard, heard a lot of good things about them. Um, I did even compare prices with Custom Offset, but uh, Rims One just, um, they, they beat them by quite a bit. So, um, so yeah, the packaging is really good actually. Each wheel's separately wrapped, um, and then these are in between them. And then, as of right now, I don't see anything clearly wrong. Obviously, I'm gonna inspect them a little bit more. But in the meantime, this is the wheel setup. And I, like I said, I haven't seen it yet. So this is gonna be the first time. And they're upside down cool all right so let me take this one off yeah i was trying to do a first impression but obviously it was not facing the right way so here is the new wheel and tire setup. All right, so for everyone wondering, these are 22 by 14 American Force Morph wheels. They're a concave, so they're a negative 91 offset, or negative 90, one of the two. Um, but they're on a Nitto Trail Grappler 355 40 22. So that equates to about a 33 and a half, um, tall tire and about 14 inches wide but uh, I'll take out the the measuring tape really quick so if you're looking maybe I guess they're a little bit wider than 14 they're almost 15 inches wide which is insanely wide and then for lip, you're looking at not a crazy amount of lips since they're concave, but about eight inches, maybe a little bit more. I don't want to touch the, with the tape measure because I don't want to scr scratch the wheel. But um, I just need I just need to inspect these really quick, make sure there's no noticeable scratches or anything or any pitting of any sort. But um, I also want to see what they look like up close to the the truck because man they uh they look a lot bigger than i was expecting but um of course it's raining and i can't i don't really want to be out in the rain but i'll put them up really close really quick and then we'll go from there all right guys uh, i don't know if you can see this very well but this is gonna look absolutely amazing. So I can't really show you the difference between, I mean, you can see the difference in between the widths. So like I was saying, that's my hand. You can do one, two, and like basically three wide. And then I can't really get my hand under there. But these are going to look absolutely insane on this truck. Ah. <laughs> I can't even imagine. I don't even know how far they're going to stick out. Obviously, it's not going to be the whole tire, but I really want to mount them up, but it's just a shitty day right now. But these look freaking dope. I mean, look how much better those look within the stock wheels. Oh, I can't wait. All right, so I'm gonna get these mounted eventually. Um, I'm gonna try to mount them up without the lift and see how bad they rub. I do have a lift coming in, but that'll be a separate video. 
Um, I just want to introduce you guys pretty much to these uh, wheels and tires. They are the concave series, so they, they do have a little bit more offset, just like my specialty forge wheels did. But I'm really glad I didn't go back with specialty forge because I heard their quality control has been shit lately. So I'm glad I actually finally went with American Force, who's been in the game killing it for pretty much one of the first ones, if not the first one. So, so yeah, um, I gotta unbox these, make sure there's nothing seriously wrong with them. The first one looks good. I don't really notice any, I haven't noticed anything. I haven't honestly inspected it because I've been just mesmerized by everything. But it's my first set of polished wheels and I've never ran them before. So I'm not sure how bad it's gonna be to keep them clean. But, oh my God, just look at the spacing between the lugs. Like that's, these are gonna be so loud. <laughs> I mean, they're truck grapplers, so they're not crazy loud, but this would be awesome. So, yep, I'm gonna inspect these, mount them up sometime this weekend, hopefully, and then we'll uh, take some pics with it and and some video of how bad it rubs. But they they look about the. I mean, they're they're a little bit taller than the stock tires. Uh, I think the stock tires are like a 33 or a 33 and a quarter or something. Um, but these are like 33 and a half inch tires tall so they're a little bit taller but um i just can't wait to see what they look like mounted so thanks for watching guys stay tuned for them mounted and then eventually the lift's gonna go on i gotta get that scheduled i don't have time to do it myself unfortunately but um i'm excited for how this thing's gonna turn out i i, I hate driving truck stock but this truck's been amazing stock so far so um i really have no complaints but thanks for watching and stay tuned guys